Hello, hello, hello. Good, happy Sunday to you guys. Say, so, say so I just want to hop on really quick. Um, I'm getting ready to make more ranch dressing because somebody that lives in this camper of ours loves it and is going to go get some more salad and we ran out of ranch dressing. But I just wanted to show you guys just one component of it is that's making your own homemade buttermilk. I like making my homemade buttermilk and buttermilk is just sour fermented milk. When you buy it in the grocery store, it is full of additives and preservatives and all of those additives and preservatives and especially when you read the labels, it'll say, you know, milk and milk solids, but we don't know what that is. We don't know what that cultured milk solids truly is. And if you're getting it from a cow that's full of hormones, those hormones are transferring to you and causing you unexperienced weight gain, inflammation, and all kinds of issues inside your body. So we're trying to remove all that and leverage it. So that being said, I made my own buttermilk. Um, it's actually be, it's ready to be used. <laughs> it's ready to be used right now. So um, it's already soured in here and I've only had it in here for 15 minutes. So what you use is hormone free, organic, whole milk. Hang on. Whole milk. Whoops. This happens to be from my local grocery store. Whole milk. Don't use heavy cream. Don't use skim milk. Don't use uh, 1 or 2 percent. Use whole milk. And per one cup of milk, you're going to use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar which is awesome. It naturally is sour. It's already fermented. It's going to make the buttermilk. And one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon. Not lemon juice in the plastic, but an actual lemon. So you're going to want to squeeze this into the cup. I use a frosty mug because the frosty mug helps um, kind of bind all that together and, and sour that up. So, you know, I like buttermilk. I need to use it for cooking, but I don't like using it, all the preservatives and additives in it because I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what it is. Plus, when I buy buttermilk, I end up buying more than I need and then I'm wasting it and having to throw it away. And number two, it just doesn't last very long. So as I need it, I basically have buttermilk on demand. So I'm using it today to make some more ranch dressing. I also use this. This is how I make my buttermilk when I make homemade biscuits. And so that's the easiest way to do it, and literally, if you have, most of you guys probably have this in your house now, and lemon, which lemon has so many uses for it that you can actually still use it for buttermilk. So that's how you make homemade buttermilk. Put it in your freezer for 15 minutes. It's sour milk. That's buttermilk. Just make sure you use the whole hormone-free organic milk if you can find it. If you can't, that's okay. Just make sure it's whole milk, and then just make sure you're souring it with this because. We're trying to leverage ourselves. We know we're not going to be perfect because food in the United States is not perfect. They said that the food industry and the pharmaceutical industry sets us up for failure. However, we can have the upper hand, and this is just one way that we can get the upper hand. So if you like tips like this and you're looking to leverage your body to get your weight and fat loss get going in a hurry, I have a 14-day program. Go to thehormonehack.com and check out my 14-day program. If you like this, please share it, comment on it, or anything you want me to hack. Let's do this. So anyway, I've got to get going. I've got to make some ranch dressing because I have things i got to do this afternoon. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Please like, like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.